Creative Garage segment, we go old school. It's all about learning how to make an old time envelope. Checkmate, it's all about chess coming up in my story segment. Drinking milk on its time. Last but not least, Flying Balloon and Wonder Album coming up on your way. Creative Garage. Once I met a laughing hi. Wow! How are you kids? Welcome to Creative Garage. Kids at home, welcome to Creative Garage. Today we are going to teach you something very interesting. Do you have friends? Do you have friends? I'm going to teach you how to make a nice little card and then I'm going to teach you how to make a nice old time envelope those old old days and the things we are going to use are this okay look follow this is a card where we are going to write uh, our message to our friend eh? all right we will have to use a ruler so that we have our lines straight and right we're also going to use a glue to glue our envelope together then we will use these colors these are colored pencils to decorate our envelope and also our letter okay and we will use the scissors for cutting we have pencils for writing and of course for drawing lines then we have a nice paper here written happy birthday and then the inside part is white all right so we are going to make sure we hide the happy birthday so that it is a surprise all right are you are you ready are you ready yes. are you ready at home yes. good yes. let's begin we start by making our envelope so we turn the other side of the paper this is just a normal wrapping paper we want to cut a, a rectangle okay make sure you have a rectangle not a square not a triangle but a rectangle we'll measure this length this is uh, 25 centimeters, and for it to be a rectangle, the width has to be a bit shorter. Make it like 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters, you put a mark there. Then uh, 20 centimeters here, you put a mark. And then we draw a straight line. Eh? So after making the straight line, we are now cutting. You cut along that line. And then, now we start with the folding. We are not going to fold on this side. We will fold from this other side because we want to hide this message so that it is a surprise to whoever we are sending the, the letter to. Okay, so we start by making our lines first using the ruler. Make sure you have at least a very straight line. And uh, for you to have a straight line, let's take away about five centimeters from uh, both sides. Then we join the line straight like that. Okay, we look at the length of the envelope, it's about 25 centimeters. So we pick about five, five again. Pick five centimeters, we take it away. Five centimeters there. Then we join the line, we join the two lines. Like that, we join the line. Are you seeing? After doing that, we want to remove these small squares. We remove them. That's when we take now the pair of scissors, okay? So we are going to mix so many colors. We'll use your favorite color, okay? What is your favorite color? Blue. Okay, pick it. Let's pick your favorite color. And you, your favorite color? Yellow. Yellow. So we we'll use the, the colors that you've given me. So which color first? It's, uh, we, let's use red. After red, which color next? Blue. blue. We put our blue. And you make sure your patterns flow so that your envelope can look good. Okay? You don't change the pattern. Color the same pattern all around. Don't mix the pattern. So you color around. I think I love my envelope. Tash, I want you to help me color the part that is remaining. Start with the blue color. Let me see. I want you now to write 
a message to your friend, okay? We are going to put in our beautiful envelope. This is yours. Okay, write a message to your friend. We are going to put in our envelope. Can I write to your friend? Friend, I love you. You're through? Let me see. Wow. Can you show kids at home? We show them? Show them. Okay, now it's time to put the messages in the envelope. So give me the messages. We put them inside. So can we put inside, all of us? Good. Now we want to seal our envelope and now send it. I hope at home you are not going to start buying envelopes again in the shop. You make yours, custom made it, make it, and uh, you can paint it as you wish. You can put colors. That is our envelope. So we can now address it to, to my dear friend. Now, this is our custom made old time envelope. Do you love it? Yes. Are you going to try to make one at home? for your friend. Eh? So don't buy envelopes in the shop. Just make one, address it, decorate it, and send it to your friend. Okay? Children at home, you can also try it. Okay? Until next time, this has been Creative Garage, and it's bye! My name is Mary Gitao and I'm Raisa's mom. This is uh, his second born brother. The first born is in secondary school, Boldy. And this is the father, James Gitao. And this is Raisa Wanjiko herself. Hi, my name is Raisa Wanjiko. I'm 11 years old. I'm in Shepherd Junior School and I play chess and I love it. I started playing chess when I was seven years old. The person who inspired me was my uncle who is my father's brother and he is called Samuel Kimani. Uh, Raisa started uh, playing chess when she was seven years old. Uh, her uncle who is a, uh, the, the father's uh, follower, introduced her to chess. And uh, from the moment she was introduced to the game, we didn't realize that she actually had that talent. When I was introduced to chess, I was, I was very excited. 
and happy to learn about chess. I've gone to over 12 tournaments. Chess has helped me in my academics and it has helped me to be top two. Chess is a game of thinking and when I come to my exams it is easy to think and it has really helped me in my academics. She went for the first tournament, she won, she went to the second one, she won and then we realized that uh, this is a talent she has so we decided to start you know behind her we supported her and uh, in 2012 uh, she won in her category to the point that uh, her and i went to slovenia for me it was very exciting she took me to a country that i never thought i would go it, uh, it was a different uh, country altogether i have traveled to slovenia I wasn't able to qualify to other countries, but I believe the next tournament I'm going to qualify and go and represent Kenya. The people who I interacted with were my fellow Kenyans and other people from other countries. It was a whole new experience. Uh, people came from all over the world. Uh, so she played with people from the US, Africa, the Asian countries and it was a whole new experience, the food, the people, the climate. We had a wonderful, wonderful time together and I'm grateful to my daughter. My first, my best trophy is this one which I was number one and it was my first tournament. And this one I was number one also and I got to meet the Grand Master. And this one, I was number two, and I played with adults. Mm -hmm. This one, it was a tournament that was, I was number one. And those are my favorite trophies. When I grew up, I liked to be a doctor and a chief chef. It is easy to play, but you need a lot of concentration and thinking. Now, uh, what I want to tell the parents is that uh, our children have a lot of talents in them and it, it is our responsibility to, to tap those talents so that uh, we can be able to support them and we can be able to help them explore their talents. When you, when you play chess, you need to use a chess board. This is a chess board. And there are numbers 1 to 8 and letters A to H. Now we have the rook, it moves horizontally around the board, chess board. And this is the knight, it makes an L four steps. This is the bishop, it moves diagonally according to its spot. If it's the white spot, it goes diagonally to the white spot. If it's the black spot, it goes according to its spot. And this is the queen. It is the most powerful piece in the in chess. It can move any any move horizontally, diagonally, horizontally, and many others. This is the king. It moves one step at a time. And in chess, you are supposed to protect your king so that you cannot get a checkmate. It has 10 points. The queen has 10 points also. The knight has 3 points. The rook has 6 points. And the bishop has 3 points. And chess is played among two people, white and black. And these points are one, are one point, point. It goes one one step or two steps and they are called pieces they are eight in one color eight in one line and eight sixteen on one color and sixteen on the other color nowadays you don't just need to uh, concentrate on academics our children are so talented so discover what your dot, what your child is talented in, so that you can be able to support them and uh, they can go all the way. I have seen people 
who have uh, discovered their talents and uh, that's where they are earning from their daily bread today. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Zainab. Oh, Zainab, how old are you? I'm eight years. Which school do you go to? I go to Manikos Academy. And which class are you in? I'm in class three. What's your teacher's name? My teacher's name is Teacher Agnes. Oh, Teacher Agnes. You may wave at Teacher Agnes like this. She's watching you. What's your favorite lesson in school? My favorite lesson is Kiswahili. And who is your best friend? My best friend's name is Natalia. Oh, Natalia. Why is Natalia your best friend? She's kind and polite. What do you want to be in future? I want to be a doctor. A doctor? That's wonderful. So what would you have done if you had a lot of money? I'd like to buy a house. What do you like eating the most? Chips. 
<laughs> which country do you want to visit and why? I like to go to America. Why? So that I can meet new people. Have you ever been in an aeroplane? Yes. Ah, how did you feel? I feel fun. Would you like to sing a song? No. No? You don't want to sing a song for us? No. It's okay, Zainab. Thank you for joining Flying Balloon. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.